Hello, this is Pradeep Reddy. I'm a solutions architect at Cubol. The main intent of this presentation is to provide a brief overview of Cubol's notebook platform and demonstrate machine learning model training, evaluation, and deployment using Apache Spark, XGBoost Library, and Flask. Without further ado, let's get started. To start with a brief introduction of notebooks in general, Notebooks are like lab books from high school science with a Harry Potter twist. Like animated images in print on the Daily Prophet fictional magazine, the code in the notebook can be executed and results displayed as part. The main objective of Kubol's notebook platform is to provide a collaboration suite for data science with easy access to auto scaling cluster computing resources. This enables self-service data mining and data science at scale. The first step in this demo is to ingest the reference data set that we will herein refer to as Telco Customer Churn Dataset. This dataset is a classic example of labeled dataset where the churn attribute indicates customer attrition. The true value, a true value for churn indicates that the customer has quit using the telco company's service and attrite it. The below code block loads all the historical observations available into the distributed memory of Spark. Now that the data is ingested, the below code block initializes the Spark ML Lips pipeline API and defines several stages with the last stage intended for model training. The last stage that we are referring to here is the XGBoost classifier, is the definition of the XGBoost classifier. The last line below will let 70% of the data that we annotated as training set into the pipeline and rolls through all the defined stages, including model training. The end result is a trained curated XGBoost model. Let's run this code block. Now that we have a trained curated model, we are ready to evaluate the model on the 30% data that we set aside as test data set. We'll use a couple of important metrics for binary classification called AUPRC and AUROC. In other words, area under precision recall curve and area under ROC curve. The closer these metrics are to one, the better the model performance is. After ensuring optimal model performance, we now move on to the critical step of deploying the model. For model deployment, we will use pipeline models, write API, and write the model or export the model to cloud storage. I'll now move to my local computer and download the exported model to the local computers. For this, I'm using a tool called CyberDuck. The next step is to download and provision the Apache Spark locally. I already completed this step and this can be done by logging on to sparkapache.org and downloading the Spark zip package. As you can see, I installed the Apache Spark in my home directory. I now move to the bin directory and start the PySpark binary. Please note that when starting the PySpark binary, we have to specify the package dependency for XGBoost. XGBoost is a third-party package that is not available as part of 
Apache Spark. This automatically starts the Jupyter Notebook, wherein I saved the Flask Web Service Notebook in the local folder. This notebook defines a Flask Web Service. And this web service basically wraps the exported model, the, ex the model that we exported to the cloud storage. Let's hit run. Given this is a simple demonstration of the capability, we'll use any web browser with the request parameter passed in the URL string. Imagine a customer is visiting offers page on the customer portal and the real time scoring has determined that the customer has high propensity to churn. As you can see, in this case, we were able to present a tailored offer to retain the customer. In the next tab, we will look at a customer with no propensity to churn, or in other words, a customer who will remain loyal. As you can see, in this case, the business is not obligated to present any offers. Thank you for listening.